Okay, so we have been doing our series of specialized master's programs and we have already covered data science and finance in the previous videos. And today what I want to talk about is MS in business analytics programs because again, this attracts a lot of Indian applicants primarily because it attracts not only people coming from engineering or STEM background, but also even commerce background and people who have not even studied science before this. So business analytics is one of those majors which allows for a wide variety of people to apply. What does it take to crack a good business analytics program? What are some of the good unis that you can consider in here? And other tips for your applications all on the other side of the intro. Please keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nishtha Tripathi from Scholar Strategy and 24 North Star. The last time when I posted the video about data science programs, I got a lot of comments asking for similar information on business analytics courses. So here we are back to our series of specialized programs, um, information about good universities that you can apply to in them. And I hope if you're enjoying the series, do consider subscribing to the channel and also liking this video because it really helps us with the YouTube algorithms and creating more content like this. Now I'll be covering two points today. Number one is who should apply for business analytics and second is best universities to study business analytics. So let's start with who should apply for this course. Now best part about masters in business analytics courses is that anybody can apply to them that is you don't have to come from engineering or IT background for this you might come from business arts science or any background and get into this field it opens your door to jobs like business analyst analytics consultant data analyst business intelligence analyst etc secondly it is a stem course which means you get three years OPT after finishing your course that is you can work for three years in US before needing a H-1B visa if you are a business analytics graduate. This is why these courses are in high demand and universities are minting money on these courses. MSBA programs are designed to equip students with the technical skills, analytical frameworks and business acumen necessary to make data driven decisions. Curriculum usually is heavy on business analytics tools and techniques including Python, R, SQL and Excel. There would be courses on stats and probability and machine learning but these won't be as intensive as that in the MS in data science courses. If you're interested in data science then don't forget to check our previous video where I covered 33 high ROI masters in data science programs not just in US but six most popular study abroad countries. Additionally you will find courses in databases and data visualization if you study business analytics. Often these courses may offer a special track in financial analytics or marketing analytics or supply chain analytics, etc. So you can apply analytics in any of the domains that you are interested in. Basically, if you want to switch from a non-IT field to a tech oriented company and want a decent salary, business analytics is a pretty good course. My main concern with it is that a lot of people are applying it for it these days because everyone wants an entry in a STEM career in US and this is one of the best ways to do it. So competition for jobs will be high which means job will not be that easy to find. So do keep that in mind. Don't think of this as an easy shortcut. You will have to hustle hard if you end up studying this. Now second part of the video which is best universities where you can study business analytics and I am primarily going to cover US here. And the good thing is that the starting salary that you can expect after this degree is between 70 to 100,000 uh, US dollars per year. And this uh, data is coming from Glassdoor, Payscale and Indeed. So that's a fairly reliable data, I would say. Now I'm going to talk about 15 universities which are offering good business analytics or related courses. So I am going to cover the name of the university as well as a tentative tuition fee. Now do take these tuition fee numbers with a grain of salt because it is very hard to pinpoint the exact number. It varies from university to university. Also sometimes what they mention is tuition fee may include some administrative costs. Sometimes it may not include. So this is just to give you a broad idea. And number one course here is MIT where uh, they offer a MS in business analytics course and the tuition fee is 80 7,600 which comes to around 72 lakh rupees so yes it's on pretty expensive side but MIT is MIT second university is University of California Berkeley 
which has a course of masters in analytics number 3 is university of california los angeles which has a ms in ba course now all the university of californias especially the ones around silicon valley you can expect a tuition around 68000 At number four, we have University of Texas at Austin, which has a one to one and a half years Masters in Business Analytics courses. The tuition fee here would be fifty three thousand dollars. The good thing about Texas is it's Indian friendly, and Austin is definitely a place where a lot of tech companies have moved recently. Even their headquarters have been moved to Austin, so it's a it's a pretty good and job friendly place, I would say. Number five, we have University of Chicago which has a MS in analytics course it is on the expensive side because the tuition fee can go up to $71000 number 6 you can consider Georgia Institute of Technology which again has a MS in analytics course the tuition fee here would be $54000 at number 7 i have University of California San Diego the tuition fee again similar to 67950 or roughly 68000 dollars for international students at number 8 we have purdue university where tuition fee is around 56700 dollars number 9 another uc uc davis so it seems like a lot of university of california campuses are offering the ms in business analytics courses so the fee for davis seems slightly low around 60000 dollars at number 10 we have michigan state university tuition fee is on the low side around 39000 dollars then we have arizona state university which also advertises this course a lot it's a one year ms in business analytics course is pretty expensive for that around 61000 dollars then number 12 we have washington university at st louis which offers ms in data analytics and statistics course the tuition fee here would be 61000 dollars at number 13 we have another uc this time university of california at irvine campus the tuition fee here is $65,600 and then we have emory university in atlanta the tuition fee comes to around $69,000 so yes emory is on the expensive side and number 15 i would pick is university of massachusetts amherst fairly nearby from boston so a good location and fee is also on a decent level like $40,000 so these are 15 universities you can consider if you're focused on business analytics course again do not confuse business analytics analytics and data science they are two separate course with separate focus and and curriculum focus varies a lot one is more technical one is more business oriented make sure that you know which course you are applying to and what goal are you chasing after master so that you pick the course which aligns with it and will help you reach that career goal uh, but yes if you need more information on this feel free to ask in the comments as well So that was another I think university list we are trying to do in different domains let me know what other course you would like me to cover in a future video and also any other suggestions or feedback always welcome again please do not forget to subscribe and like this video it really helps us a lot so that was it from my side um, so yes i will see you guys next time with a fresh new video until then take care bye bye